taken my second hit and the, the club came off. What the hell? Okay, welcome to vlog 13, but also day one of the daily vlogs. I'm in Muldura at the moment. Um, I drove down the weekend, as you would see in the previous vlog. Go check it out. And um, basically, it's, it's July 1st, so happy seventh month of the year. And for me, I really wanted to challenge myself and I really wanted to keep doing things that I loved a lot, which is creating for you. But in the purpose of these vlogs, it's yes, it's going to be the same, documenting what I'm doing behind the scenes and a lot of exciting stuff that's coming up. But I also want to educate. I also want to share something in every day in a vlog to educate through this platform to then show you guys something that can be used in your daily life. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you're subscribed and enjoy day one of July. Lovely, beautiful, I mean, not lovely, beautiful day in Wadra. It's all blue skies out there. Um, look at this, that showed up. Very rarely do I get pimples, but that one decided to pop up. Um, going to get groceries because mum's busy <laughs> and we've got no food. And now that I'm staying here for a while, I've decided to stay. We need food. Um, pretty boring day. I've just been editing. Um, I'll get outside and enjoy this weather. I'm going golfing later with James and pretty much editing the rest of the night. So just getting on top of things, a lot of back end stuff to do as well, emails to send, um, program updates. So all the fun things. <laughs> It is 3.40, uh, I just got home from shopping, um, it took an hour and a half, but it was an hour and a half of shopping. It was me responding to people, doing an Instagram post and replying to some comments, um, gonna meal prep for the week and then get on to more editing. So what I'm making is my usual bean mix plant-based bean mix. If you haven't seen the video on how to create this, check it out in the link below. Um, but basically, it's a really good nutrient-dense meal that can be meal prepped in advance. It's super easy, it's tasty, but also versatile. I can use it in wraps, I can use it in pasta, I can have it by itself with rice, I can put it on... Um, Tortilla chips, like it, it's it's so versatile and it is so good. And honestly, it's so cheap. The whole thing meal preps me for about six to seven meals, um, mostly as organic as you can get stuff. Um, and it takes less than 20 minutes to make. So if you're looking for a plant-based alternative, this is one. So I've got all my elements mm -hmm. to making my wrap. I've got rice, I've got hummus, I've got spinach, I've got a few fresh things, and the bean mix. So let's build it. And I think, you know, you can make, this is so much food. This could feed a family 
more more than once. So bit of this, bit of that. I like a little bit of rice in mine. A few spinach leaves. Uh, the wraps are also spinach wraps, so it's green, it's healthy, right? And get all this down here. Definitely not getting a job at Zambrero's anytime soon. There. You have your green bean wrap. It is the first day of July. So the first day of the second half of the year. Now, with these vlogs, I really want to give every day a bit of advice, something I use, a tool, a tip to help you make the most of your day and to help you in improving your life. So, what can you do to create the best July possible, but also make the next six months the best six months? And I want you to start with these three questions. Number one is what do I want? Think about what you want for the month of July. Do you want to work on your health? Do you want to work on your fitness? Do you want to work on your relationships? Do you want to start that business? Do you want to start that Instagram page? Do you want to start that hobby? What do you want? What's that thing you've been avoiding for so long, all year, and you've been putting off that you could do in July? Number two, why is that important to you? Why do you want to do that thing? Why do you want to feel better? Why do you want those feelings of whatever you want to create in the what section in the first question? Why? Because then we're going to build up that why, that fuel, that power, that motivation to get you to do that. Remember, the what is what are the things you are wanting? What are the feelings? What are the physical things? What are all those things? And the third thing are what are the things you can do daily to get you to that place or to get you to those things? Now, Everything we want is a feeling why we want it. You know, that's why we go with the what. What it is we want, but why do we want it? It's always going to be a feeling behind it. We want to feel fulfilled, enough, loved, all these types of things. Happy, joyful. What can you do daily to get you there? What can keep you accountable? Is it waking up at a certain time? Is it going to bed at a certain time? Is it reading a book? Is it doing yoga? Is it eating clean? Is it having an accountability partner? What are the things you can do daily to get you there and keep you accountable because it's all good to go set a goal and say this is what I want but if you don't know why you want it then there's no depth to it and then when you do know why but you don't know what to do daily you kind of just see it and go that'd be nice but I don't know what to do reverse engineer those what's and trust me you will create an epic July for yourself All right, at the golf course behind my house. I think James is already out there. We've got Dad's ancient clubs. Oh. And we're gonna go for a hit. I haven't played in a while, but let's see. Let's see how the form is after a couple of months. I'm having the best start so far. So these are my dad's uh, OG clubs. Did you get new clubs? No. These are nice. Look at man, we've got like pro over here versus the OG. Nice. How are you feeling? Like? These though. Oh. Have to use these. Oh. Casually taking my second hit. 
But it went straight. <laughs> and there's Dad on the tractor. We were playing and the sun went down really quick, so it's literally it's pitch black. Um, we got here at like 5, 5.30, um, and by 6.15, 6.30, it was pitch black. So we only played four holes. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was more of a catch-up than anything. And, yeah, we, we stayed at the car and talked for a little bit. Um, now I just got home. It's one minute from my house. And going to finish off some editing, so part one, part two. Um, they'll be linked below and finish some editing and get everything up and live uh, tonight for everyone to view. Mm -hmm.